Welcome back to The Absolute Mom. Today I was going to take you along with me as I do a kitchen clean out. I was going to be removing everything from every cabinet, get it organized. So I started with my Lazy Susan that has all my pots and pans in it. I got that all done. I cleared out the bottom of the oven, got that all scrubbed out and vacuumed out because I had crumbs in it. My other Lazy Susan, I got all organized and scrubbed out also. And then as I was emptying my dishwasher, I started noticing absolutely how dirty it actually was. So I decided to go ahead and scrub it and take you guys along with me. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you like cleaning motivation. Also make sure to subscribe and turn on that bell notification so that you know every single time that I upload a new video. All right, so today I am cleaning out my dishwasher. It's something that I try to do a couple times a year and it's pretty hard to find it on video, but this thing is pretty darn dirty. Some of this is staining just because um, like we have spaghetti sauce or pizza sauce type stuff on it. All the wetness is a spray that I've already put on it. But then um, I'm just going to use the scrub brush to try to get as much of it off as I can. But one area I always forget and I just noticed is this. Guys, that's so gross. It's on this side too. So this is going to be so satisfying to scrub down in the end. Quite a bit of that staining is coming up, but then I noticed, oh my gosh, that is gross. Tell me, how often do you guys truly wash your dishwasher? So my next favorite tool that I end up using is a toothbrush it gets into all those little spots and I just use um, hot soapy water like with Dawn dish soap and usually it'll get all of this kind of stuff clean so that's my next step Another little tip is if you have these toothbrushes that have the rubber tongue cleaner on the back of it, that is an awesome tool to use for cleaning. When I can't get these hard spots off, I just turn it over and I use that little rubber spot and it's enough friction that usually it will get just about any sticky spot. Up. I know I had watched on YouTube a whole bunch of moms cleaning their filters in their dishwashers a few years back. and. I had just had a baby, so it would have been three years ago. I had just had a baby, and it was the middle of the night when I was nursing her that I watched this YouTube video, and I literally got up, and I went over, and I checked my filter and started cleaning it, and to my surprise, it wasn't very dirty at all. Like, it's not even worth cleaning it, basically. Um, but this makes me wonder if I'm alone on these edges being so gross, or if other mamas have the same area that is really dirty and they just don't even realize it. Let me know in the comments down below. So I'm starting to think that I'm going crazy under this quarantine because last weekend I decided to scrub my whole tile floor. So my kitchen, my bathroom, my laundry room, my hallway on my hands and knees with this little scrubber and Dawn dish soap and water and literally a toothbrush and a little scraper to get any sticky spots off. I have a steam mop that I use all the time. I have no idea why I decided to go crazy and go on my hands and feet to clean it. And now here I sit with my little best friends, my two cleaner tools again, 
and I'm scrubbing all the crevices of the dishwasher. So <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm going crazy and I'm truly that bored. In the long run, it's a good thing. This stuff gets done that wouldn't have normally gotten done because we'd be busy with a whole bunch of stuff. Um, but yeah, weird, weird feeling to be doing it. Let me know in the comments down below what's some weird things that you're doing that you wouldn't normally be doing without the quarantine being under an order. It looks so good, guys. Look at that. That took me like 30 seconds and it's something that I didn't even know was that dirty. So gross, so gross. So one thing I am being careful about when I'm doing all this is even though I'm using Dawn dish soap, I don't want to put it directly in here because I have a really bad feeling then it'll all create too many bubbles and stuff on the next loads. Oh guys, this is gross. I mean, <laughs> gross. so good that was really disgusting and I can't believe that I showed the whole world it but maybe this will give you something to do while you're under quarantine too there's still stains on the door but I don't think that's gonna go anywhere between hard water and just like red sauces being in but the most rewarding is this this is something I'm going to start doing every single month because now it will always be on my mind and I will always notice if it's dirty.